it's on you down here um, I'm going to paint these sunflowers in a few stages and in order to comply with the IGTV regulations I'm going to keep each video to under 50 minutes so and I don't think it'll be an issue now because the light is fading tonight and um, you know the evenings are drawing in already aren't they um, and um, and also I just want to get a layer down fairly swiftly and I'll have a bit more time tomorrow morning to return to this so um, I've got a gesso board here um, thanks to my friend Louise who gave them to me before she moved house or she was moving house and then I've got these um, sunflowers I took out the other flowers that um, you know when you buy sunflowers sometimes there's other flowers along with them um, I just took out everything that wasn't sunflower oh except for this little bundle at the back there because I quite like the shape of the um, the sunflower leaves and I feel like um, well no there is a bit of a space in the centre there but will I move push that that way a bit it'll occupy that space I think that's okay it's falling back down again sorry I don't have my microphone but um, I hope that you can hear me that I speak loud enough all the way through okay <clears throat> right oh I meant to get the kitchen paper one second it's just so that I can dry off my brushes I've got this um, pretty big brush to begin with. It's a two inch brush. You know what? I think I'll start with them. Um, I'll start with the thinner brush. I have a few um, pots of water because, and, and about six brushes this size around that size because I like to be able to, um, you know, not to have to wash the brushes in between each colour. Okay. So. Here goes. Maybe I'm standing right in front of you. As the usual carry on not changing position after starting, but I just want you to be able to see what I'm painting anyway. I've got my table on the right hand side here so that I can um, easily access the, access the materials. And I'm going to hold this, this palette here for... Um, yeah, will I start now with the yellow? I think I will. I think I will, because it's... Sunflower is all about the yellow, isn't it? And then that can dry and I can put on the darks. Okay, so with my eyes half closed, I'm trying to locate the position that the flowers will occupy on the page. So there's a kind of a meandering down and then there's this one that's up here. So there's two here. It's nice if there was a third one there. Uh, I might pull it over another bit again. I just don't want there to be a big, a big gap. Sometimes you do need to just start as well, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to start. All right, so with my eyes half closed, there's these two sunny sunflowers shining off in that direction. And I can see the centre of that one fairly clearly. A bit more yellow there, I think. And I'm just making the brush strokes move in the direction of the petals. I have a few different shades of cadmium, orange and yellow here that I'm using for the sunflowers. You know, the size of that now, I don't know if I even want to get this one in. I'll put it in first and then I'll make sure that I do get it. So there's that one over in the corner because I do need to stop it with that one at the other side. And with my eyes half closed, that one has got more yellow really than orange in it. I might choose to get a different brush or even um, just use the kitchen paper that's in my hand here to paint that on. And then there's the one that's closer to that there. Uh, it's got a bit more orange as well as it goes down. Okay. We have the one here too. It's shining up. I think it's always a good thing to err on the side of making things slightly bigger anyway because you can you can lift off with the edges with a damp rag to to create a new edge. Make it slightly smaller again if need be. Okay. And I'm putting it on thinly enough and the brush is quite dry because I don't want to have to wait for ages before I start doing the in-between bits. 
No, a bit of rag. Dip that into the water. Because already noticing that the um, space between is a much bigger space between these two. Maybe, maybe I kind of, see I think I want to have a smaller space there, so maybe for the sake of the painting I would leave the, the sunflower be in further than it actually is at the moment. Mm. Will I? I think so, I'll just try it. So I've shoved them all over to the left a little bit. and leave enough space here in between these two. Okay. And then I'll use the same rag to help me locate the space that these two lovely sunflowers sit in. working with boards that are, well boards really, I tend to work more on paper, but that's fine, it's exciting, okay, now the leaves I suppose would be a good place to go next, just while I'm waiting for the um, yellow to dry enough to do the centre of the sunflowers, I think the leaves are a good connecting point, and so I've used some sap green mixed with ultramarine blue, and now I'm going to um, find the seven minutes in, we're good, okay. So by the 15th minute, I'd hope to have something for the leaves, something for the flowers, something for the center of the flowers, and then I'd stop. That's a rough plan now, you know. Okay. And go forward too, I could tilt it right at the edge so that it's not stopped by the edge of the easel there. careful when I put it at the edge there because it'd be fairly heavy guillotine if it came down. And then that's quite dark, it'd be nice with a bit more blue. My eyes have closed, I'm noticing these leaves in here are darker. Okay. Now I think I'll use a clean wet brush. Some clean water. Maybe it's getting a bone from the neighbor, I think. <coughs> right, let's see. Yeah, so I want to chisel some space between these leaves now. Uh, I think there's a space here. I quite like bringing some water in at this stage now. So that there's the element of chance comes in too, you know. Seems to me like the direction, the direction of the move is important to kind of find something of the um, character of the flowers, you know. <sighs> okay. There's a space here. Nice warm green or recent. 
I quite like the thing that happens with um, acrylic as it dries, when you wipe it away it leaves these nice, nice ridges. Okay, so now it's time to put in some sort of, I've got three minutes, I'm going to put in some kind of a brownish colour now. Greens grey, and there's a dark brown. I think the paint's grey and the Van Dyke brown together. Um, Erin, have you go? Oh. Something up with Maisie. Okay. So. So I'm just putting on the dark center. <laughs> What's, okay. Just another two minutes. I'm gonna put the um the bones in. No, Cindy, I think she would run away. Did some of the color in the flowers here. I quite like using the stencils to create some bit of interest or something different and a surprise for myself really. So I think I'll give that a go. Maybe in this area. Yeah, I'll just stipple it on some with a dry brush here. Yeah. A little dry brush. I'll stipple it on. Let's see. I'm losing my time now. Oh, I have to stop. Okay, see you for the next one for the stencils. Bye.